knockouts. He does have punching power and currently ranked number three by the WBC, number four by the IBM, and number five from the WBA. Well, you know, Bruce, uh, he has earned his ranking. He's, he's a very spectacular guy. He's a strong guy, and he throws that left hook to the body. That's his big punch. His opponent tonight, George Martinez, should provide an interesting test for him. Well, Jorge Martinez is, is, is again, a winning fighter. He's got a good record, uh, but uh, he just doesn't look physically strong to me, but you can get fooled a lot of times. Let's see what happens when the bell rings. This one is scheduled for 10 rounds in the featherweight division. Ring announcer Ed Duria with further introduction of the fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is scheduled for 10 rounds, and it's in a featherweight division. The referee is Rudy Battle. Introducing the principals. First in the blue corner, wearing the red trunks with the white and blue trim. He weighed in at an even 124 pounds. This young gentleman has 13 wins, two losses, one draw, with seven knockouts. All the way from San Antonio, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the Trump Plaza Hotel and Casino, Jorge Trampito Martinez. Martinez. And his opponent in the red corner, wearing the wide red trunks with the white and blue trim. He weighed in at an even 125 pounds. This young man is undefeated in 17 professional bouts with one draw with 13 knockouts. From the Bronx, New York, by way of Santurce, Puerto Rico, ranked number three by the WBC, number four by the IBF, and number five by the WBA. Boxing fans, here is Ricardo Cepeda. Cepeda. Rudy Battle, the third man in the ring for this bout. By the way, the rules of the New York, New Jersey State Athletic Control Board are in effect tonight. Ten-point scoring system used, scoring by three judges. Referee does not score the fight. Three knockdown rule is in effect. Standing eight count is in effect. Ringside position has the authority to stop the fight, and the bell cannot save a boxer in any round, including the last round. Both fighters wearing red trunks, but Cepeda with a little bit of red, white, and blue. George Martinez, 13 and 2, home San Antonio, Texas, lived in Denver, Colorado, born in San Antonio, Texas. You know, Bruce, you remember that old song, you say tomato and yes. I say tomato? <laughs> yeah. I was trying to correct you, being a wise guy, Jorge Martinez, but he told you he wants to be called George, so George, keep moving and keep boxing. That's what he said at the weigh-in. I think he wants to make it easy on us. Cepeda, the cousin of baseball great Orlando Cepeda. His last fight, he captured the WBC Continental America's featherweight title. It was March 22nd in Atlantic City. A 12-round decision over Roberto Rivera. Martinez was stopped in his last bout, knocked out in the eighth round in October of 89 by Eddie Rangel in San Antonio, Texas. Stopped on cuts above the left eye. Martinez is ranked number six by the USBA. Here's that jab by Cepeda. Nice combination. Well, that's uh, Cepeda is at his best when he has his opponent pinned on the ropes or in the corner. That's when that superior strength and body punching takes over. Cepeda's assembled a new training staff in his corner tonight. Benito Ortiz, Julio Rivera, and Ralph Correa. Used to be Maximo Piret in his corner. Well, you know, it's a funny thing. You're not supposed to change something that's not broke. And here's a guy that's undefeated in 17 fights. Why they would change trainers? Who knows? Maybe it was the draw in his second bout as a professional. <laughs> Who knows? Well, anyhow, uh, my ex-fighter, Benito Ortiz, is now working with him, so uh, I'm glad to see that. I like to see Benny get work. <laughs> There's a right hand landed by Martinez. With solid punch, too. Cepeda looking to dictate this bout with that jab. 
saw the strength dissipated and he just pushed Martinez back and threw that left hook and hit him right on the foot. That's where he goes to work. He gets these guys on the ropes. Nice combination by Cepeda. Landed on the body, then went upstairs to the head. Final seconds of the first round, scheduled for 10. Second round of a scheduled 10 round bout. Ricardo Cepeda in the red trunks with the white trim, the white star, and the blue trim. And in the other corner, George Martinez. Red trunks. Looks like uh, Martinez, after that feeling out round, has decided to go to work. But does he want to trade with Cepeda? No, I, I would just. Wouldn't want any of my fighters. I tried out Fox Cepeda because he's a very, very strong guy inside and a tremendous body puncher. Martinez had only four bouts as an amateur, but did capture the San Antonio Golden Gloves in 1985 at 119 pounds. Well, with only four fights, Bruce, maybe he captured it all on buys. <laughs> hey, man, Ooh, big is. right hand there by Cepeda. I don't know. Right, right. Oh, oh. The road to the finals in San Antonio is not as long and perhaps not as difficult. Oh, no. Wait a Keep him up. Cepeda measuring his opponent. Nice combination. A flurry of four or five punches landed by Ricardo Cepeda. Beautiful combination. All clean, solid, short punches. Boy, is Cepeda efficient. He wastes little energy. His punches are crisp. Martinez countering nicely momentarily. And so far, Martinez has taken taken uh, Cepeda's punches very, very well. Nailed again with a strong right hand. And Martinez gets on his horse a bit. He's got to realize that he's got to move because if he stands right there and waits for Cepeda, he's going to eat a lot of leather. But again, he's going to have to mount an offense uh, through, so he's just going to just lose by default. Just do something to try to win the rounds and the fight. Thirty seconds, round two. Go. Break. Off the break, or what looked like it should have been a break, Cepeda landed. Another good right hand landed by Cepeda. But Martinez content to trade with them. Cepeda landing the left right before the bell. Uh, Bruce uh, Cepeda has been very, very efficient tonight. Punches short and right on the butt. Now let's take a look at the gloves that Cepeda had on. There's a story. These are the gloves, the Reyes gloves, the gloves that they wear out west most of the fighters wear. And uh, for the first time, uh, Cepeda is wearing these gloves, and they, they're called punches gloves. Punches like to wear those Reyes gloves. Why? Let's take a look and see how he does with the punches gloves. You see, Cepeda just doesn't let you hold him, Bruce. He's always maneuvering around. There's that straight right hand right on the button. And there's another one. And we know the way he can operate when he gets you on the, on the ropes. He uses that strength. He just doesn't let you tie him up. You can see Martinez trying to tie him up. See him step over to the side, Bruce, and throw that left hook. That's a classic boxing move. So why do punchers like the gloves, Gil? Because they, uh, the way they're shaped, they just seem to feel good on the fighter's hands. It doesn't seem as if they have as much padding in it, but when they weigh them, they weigh the same as the the Everlast or the Tough Wear or whatever else. So so when you're a fighter, it, it fits like a glove, are you saying? Well, they, well all the gloves fit like gloves. I mean, <laughs> this is not the comedy hour, you know. Third round of this. 10-round bout. Ricardo Cepeda all over George Martinez. He's hurt now, Bruce. Martinez is ready to go. Right. Nailed on the button, wobbled a little bit, but he's hurt. And Rudy Battle counts it as a slip. 
Big right hand to Payton, goes to the body again. So Payton with 13 knockouts and his 16 wins, looking to add to that total. Watch the way he just doesn't let you hold. He's moving, 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 moving those hands, moving those feet. Let's see if Cepeda senses that Martinez is in trouble. Well, you know, it really doesn't make that much difference because Cepeda fights, he's after you no matter what. That's a good point. He can't be putting much more pressure on Martinez, Martinez than he has been, throwing those beautiful combinations, trapping the guy on the ropes in the corners, doing everything right. Now watch the way he tries to maneuver himself anytime Martinez holds. And he does it with his hands and with his footwork. Now here he goes. Now watch. Using the strength. He's over to the side. He's trying to spin the guy around. Just doesn't let you hold him. But what is Martinez doing to win the fight? Nothing. He's just covering up. He's throwing a couple of combinations, but that's after eating six or seven punches and landing two or three. That won't win a fight. Cepeda again. Savage body blow. Good uppercut. Cepeda backing his opponent to the ropes, and he knocks him down. Battle picks up the count. You know, he just decided to sit hey, down in Bruce. It wasn't that he was knocked okay. down. He just didn't know huh? what to do. He was being overwhelmed, so he sat down. It wasn't too smart. It was a pretty smart thing to do, I think. Cepeda, with plenty of time left in this round to finish the business. Nice combination. That time off the jab. Solid body blows by Cepeda. And now the countering by Martinez. A big right hand just before the bell by Ricardo Cepeda. George Martinez needs a breather, no doubt about it. All right, Bruce, now you're the trainer of Martinez. He comes back, you can see he's outclassed, he's overwhelmed. What do you tell him to do? I tell him to move, run, keep moving. Try to throw a jab and move. All right, that's what he's been trying to do, Bruce. Okay, uh, it hasn't been effective. The ring is square, it's not round. Right. So, let's, take a, let's take a look at Cepeda here with these combinations. Two beautiful uppercuts. See, there's that left hook that wobbled him. Look at those legs go, Bruce. Right, now, let's take a look. This is the knockdown. Let's see if he just doesn't decide to sit down. Doesn't know what else to do. He can't get out of there. Just being overwhelmed. Hey, he just decides he's going right. to take a seat. Gil, I guess uh, the other strategy might be to go inside and try to tie him up and not let him unload. Well, I would, you know, you have to tell your guy, I think, Bruce, to move, but you're going to have to try to nail this guy to try to stop that freight train from coming at you. And, you know, if you can't do it, you see your guy's out class. I don't think there's anything wrong with just saying, okay, we'll try another day. And he's just completely out class, out strength, out everything in this fight. Cepeda with the body blow again. See, you see the way he won't let you hold the Bruce? He's always maneuvering. Now watch inside. Watch him try to get loose. He's pushing, moving his head from side to side. Oh, solid blow right to the forehead. Short hook by Cepeda. And Martinez with a low blow there, warning for Rudy Battle. So pay the back to the body. And Cepeda is expressionless. He just comes after you. Not a, no expression on his face. It's strictly business. It was, just wasn't the left hook. He slid over to the right, set the guy up perfectly and threw that left hook. A beautiful move on Cepeda's part. 
Okay. Fourth round of the scheduled 10 round bout. Martinez went down in the third and goes down here in the fourth. Well, referee better keep a close eye on Martinez now. He's trying like, and when you try like that, he's going to get nailed again. For sure. And so Peta is relentless. Staying inside. And now watch, watch the Peta in him. You see him move that head over to the side. He's always looking to attack. He's strong enough to break out of any hole. Yeah, you see now the one hand was tied up. He's just switched over to the other side. Nice combination. A little bit of a push there. The referee had better keep a close eye on Martinez. He's completely outclassed in the fight. And he is looking at him now. Big right hand. All right. That's, That's it. it. Very good move by the referee. Rudy Bell. Terrific. That was time to stop the fight, Bruce. He was just outclassed. So from now on, I'll ask you the questions. You're the trainer. You would have told your fighter there perhaps you know, Bruce, to call it or what? You're a boxing guy now, Bruce. You know, you have to have the answer to these questions. In a fight such as that, it's difficult to have an answer against Cepeda. It certainly was. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Ricardo Cepeda now 17-0-1. Okay. Let's take a look at that first knockdown and that move you were talking about. I'd like about, everybody Gil. to take the, watch the pay to take that little skip over. That's what. That's the whole thing. That little skip over to the right that sets up that left hook. That's what you have to watch. There, there's that little skip over, and there's the left hook. Those are the subtleties in boxing that people really have to watch. It was so quick, it almost looked like he was stepping on his toes. Well, just take a, take a look here now. You see that little slide over. There, he's right in front of him now. There, there's that little dance step over to the right. Now, without that step, there couldn't have been that left hook. And here's the very end of the bout. No defense at this point. And Rudy Battle steps in and waves it off. Well, I have to say that that's the best that I have seen Cepeda look uh, in all of his fights. Really look good tonight. With his new connections. Well... You said it, Bruce. Ring announcer Ed Darien standing by to tell us about Ricardo Cepeda's victory. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Rudy Battle stops this bout at 2 minutes and 20 seconds of the fourth round, and the winner by a TKO, Ricardo Cepeda. Cepeda. It was all Ricardo Cepeda, one of the finest 126-pound prospects in the world. Is he ready for bigger and better things? Well, he's ranked in the top 10 right now, Bruce. I mean, I'd like to see him in fight a Paez or somebody like that. Getting close to a title fight. shot. He's right up there. Number three, WBC. Number four, IBF. Number five, WBA. And currently the holder of the WBC Continental America's featherweight title. Ricardo Cepeda, now living in the Bronx, New York continues to impress as a professional. All over George Martinez with the fourth round TKO tonight. We'll take a short break. More boxing just ahead from Atlantic City.